Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you are having a beautiful day. Today I'm going to do a tour of the 2022 East to West Alta 2810 KIK. This is a travel trailer with the kitchen, you know, in the back with a desk, a super slide, an outdoor kitchen. I just love the East to West Alta brand. I did a video of the 385 MB Tandera, which is their fifth wheel version of the Tandera the other day, or fifth wheel version of the East to West. And I thought, you know, following up with an Alta travel trailer would be a nice touch. But again, this is the 2022 Alta 2810 KIK. And if you guys like RV videos or like what I'm doing here, make sure to drop a comment, like, maybe subscribe. I am trying very hard to hit 5,000 subscribers, and I would love any help that you can provide me. But okay, so let's get into it. So this is kind of the, you know, the quick tour, you know, inside uh, this back area, inside the main area. As you're going to see, there is plenty of space. There's no carpet on the slides. You have right here a sleeper sofa. So you pull this out. It'll pull out a full-size bed, so that way you can sleep an additional two people here. You have a table and chairs dinette, so four chairs go on there. You can sit down, have some dinner, play some cards, just hang out, maybe enjoy a little bit of family time. And you're going to see, look how long this slide-out is. And for a travel trailer, the slide is actually pretty high. So I am six feet tall. And it is just about at the range where I can clip the top of my head. But when you're sitting down, you know, you have obviously, you know, no worries. You're going in. It's deep enough to where it allows you that head clearance that you need. You also have plenty of windows in this model. Each one comes with a nightshade. So that way you can kind of block out the sun, get your Dracula on, or keep some nosy eyes, you know, out of the way at night. But four of those. These lights here are clickables. So you can click those on and off. And I do like that. They got that little plastic piece right there. Feels pretty good on your fingernail. Kind of like one of those erasers from those old, um, what are those, the mechanical pencils you used to have back in school. Yeah, pretty nifty. So we, we turn around over here across from your couch and your dinette. You got your entertainment area. So you have a fireplace down at the bottom. That thing gets absolutely roasting. And a camper this size, it'll heat the entirety of this room on a day where it's about 40 degrees out. So you'll really save some money on your propane. Just in general, it's a convenient option to have. So that fireplace is powerful and it is nice to have. Right in here, you got yourself a little cubby. So that way you can store a couple items, maybe a DVD player or something like that. You're also going to find that you have two USB ports right here and two outlets right there to plug in any of your devices. Above, you have your 40-inch Furion LED TV. And when you're not using it and you want some extra counter space, this is the, um, I heard it the other day, someone commented, one of you guys commented, I think it was the, um, the Elevision or Ella TV, Ella TV, something like that. But yeah, it's like a little uh, bada bing, bada boom. You click it, elevators back on down to create that extra counter space there. So pretty slick design. And when that is down, look at all that counter space. Between the island kitchen, that little desk over there, and then all of this, you have plenty of room to put everything you know that you would need. You also have another window right here. That's the nightshade. You're good to go. You have your Furion soundbar system. So these things get bumping. If you're not familiar with Furion, you should familiarize yourself with them. They are dominating the RV market right now. HDMI, USB, so plug in your devices. You also have zone one and two for music, you know, inside and outside. Over here, you got yourself, you know, your microwave. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy there, but plenty of space to cook whatever you need. Maybe a bag of popcorn, some Stouffer's meals, whatever you got going on. Below this countertop, you got a pull-out drawer for some storage. And you have your three stove top burner. with a little window there as well. Click that light on. You got a little oven, cook yourself a pizza, whatever you wanna do there. Right up above, 
you have some extra storage space. And I want to show you this. This is kind of the design on the glass. But looking sharp, has a little bit of a texture to it. I think it's just a nice little added touch. So if you haven't noticed already, you got accent lighting all over this place. So on top of the slides, you're going to notice you got that white glowing light. So you can turn off all of the lights and just keep that on for a nice little ambiance in the middle of the night when you're running around. You also have on this island kitchen, down on the floor, you have accent lighting on either side as well. Above the island, you have this light and all the lights in here uh, for the most part, you know, for this one on the slide. And then this, you have this little metal mesh around there. It's just a nice little added touch. It looks really sharp. Gives a nice little decor for you. Little cutting board sink cover. Move that over to the side. Your single stainless steel undermounted bowl. So you got plenty of space to do all your dishes. And you even have your residential high-rise faucet. So you can move that around. Do all your dishes, you know, wherever you want to hit them from. On both sides, you have storage. On this side, you're going to have two of these pull-out drawers, both of which are going to be the same size. Underneath the sink, you have a little bit of a larger storage space right there with some access to your plumbing. And then on this side, you have three of these drawers. So a lot of nice, convenient storage places right here in this island kitchen. And for a travel trailer, we all know that you need storage. You need it everywhere. And this camper does an exceptionally good job. So underneath the refrigerator, get yourself a little bit more. And then to the right, as you can see, there is plenty of storage here as well. And these are very, very big. You got two of these. And then this right here, uh, so these are pet friendly. So, you know, some food and some water for the little furry friends. You're good to go on a nice little trip. Let's open up this refrigerator, give you a nice little look on this. This is the Everchill. So this is going to be a 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It's going to run on 12 volt. So, you know, it's a safer alternative to your typical gas and electric. And it's also more effective. All right, so moving along, I love this. The world is getting more mobile. People are working more from home. This design absolutely kills it for maybe that traveling nurse or, you know, that pipeliner that still wants to get on the internet, say hello, do what you got to do. You got some storage over to the right. This desk is awesome. So kick back, relax, open up your, you know, your laptop, your devices, whatever you need there. You also have two USBs as well as a couple outlets. And you even got this window right here if you got a nice view behind you. Up above, you have three doors, all of which are connected. They are not connected, I lied. But you have three different sections of storage, as you can see. And I am six feet tall. My arm goes just about elbow deep with my fingers out. So you got plenty of depth there. Yeah, pretty slick camper, but that gives you a nice little tour here of this section. Now let's move back to the bedroom and the bathroom portion. You also are going to notice before we get back there, you got two outlets here and there, and you got a clock. And we all know the saying, it's 1016 somewhere. So right here as you walk inside the door, first thing you're going to see is you have your Dometic control. So that will control you know, the heat and the AC here, you know, just kind of set it. We all know what those do. And then you got your control panel. So you have, you know, all your lights that you can turn on. You can also shut off the accent lighting, your water pump and your water heater, your slide in controls. This unit has two slide outs and that's where you retract the awning. Into the bathroom. This bathroom is not overwhelmingly large, but the angle of the toilet there makes it so you can sit down, do your thing, and you're not banging your knees up against the door. You can actually sit down nice and comfortably. You got a decent sized sink with a cup with a uh, set of outlets there. Storage there underneath again with some uh, you know access to the plumbing. 
flex on them, baby. Plenty of storage there beneath. And up above, if you need to get some air circulating, you do have this fan that'll kick up and you're ready to roll. Right in here, you can put some towels. Got plenty of storage there. And the shower is a really nice size. So you got a little bit of depth there down at the bottom, about four inches. And being a guy myself who is, uh, you know, six feet tall, 290 pounds, I can comfortably get in there and shower without feeling too claustrophobic, which is nice. You cannot say that for all of those, you know, all these different RV brands. Sometimes they put that little kind of the half one that's rounded. I'll tell you what, makes you want to lose weight real quick. So here's the bedroom. Got an emergency exit over there and you have another right here. You also have storage up and around the bed, all of which is going to be the same. So I'll show you this side. Put some hanging items over there. Two of these pullouts. And again, both sides are the same. So more hanging items and two more pullouts. And then up above, this storage goes all the way across to the other side. So on both sides of the bed, you're going to see you got two USBs, two outlets, two USBs, two outlets, and a little cubby back there. So that's always nice to have. You got a backer for a TV on this wall. You could also put one right here. This is pre-wired uh, for the King Connect, the Wi-Fi, outlets, your aux and satellite, and your TV. But then you also have the added addition of this closet. So that is awesome. Again, storage, storage, storage in this one. And then I took the screw back on this one so you can kind of check this out. So this is where you're going to do kind of your maintenance items back there. Real handy. Hopefully you don't have to get back there. But if you do, as you can see, very easy access. But that about wraps up the inside tour. Again, this is the 2022 Alta. 2810 kik if you guys made it this far make sure to hit that like subscribe and uh yeah maybe uh drop a comment for me solid surface entry tap tap that entry steps dual axles really good size awning it's going to be i believe an 18 foot awning you got your two exterior speakers up there both are marine grades so you don't have to worry about the rain you got yourself an outdoor kitchen, which is gonna come with this little mini fridge. Probably fit yourself a 24 pack in there, no problem, of apple juice, of course. This is a PG channel. That needs a little WD-40. You got yourself a Capital Grill, 100% stainless steel, 8,500 BTU. Look at that bad boy. Be cooking up all the goodness out there at the campground and that thing. You also got your quick connect to hook that up, or you can use the quick connect to hook up a traditional dr uh, grill if uh, you know that's the kind of person that you are. So as we head around the back, you're going to notice you got a bumper with a spare tire. The East to West Alta is one of the few brands that are actually still putting on the ladder for their fully walkable roof. So you can get up there, do all your maintenance, check your seals three to four times a year, you know, do yourself a favor, avoid any issues that these campers can have with neglect. For $550, you can add on a Furion observation camera. You get a four and a half inch screen, so while you're driving behind you, while you're driving, you can see what's behind you with distance markers, so that way you can see where that car is. In addition, you can also angle it down, so that way you can see what's about to hit that bumper when you guys are at a uh, you know campground or a parking lot, whatever you're gonna do. Got this massive slide out here. You can go ahead and put on a slide topper. Uh, that would run you about $700. Your black tank flush, your water heater. This is where you're gonna control the stabilizing jack. So extend and retract all of which are you know, gonna be your power with the uh, manual override if you do need it. And if you do, here are the jacks all hung up right there. So you're good to go either way. This is gonna be your docking station. If you don't know what that is, 
you got a spray point, spray port, fresh water connection, city water connection, battery disconnect, and uh, yeah, you can turn on your uh, your front cap lights. Power tongue jack, LED lights around the front. I'll show you the storage here from the other side. Show off that aluminum construction. But that about wraps this tour up. Again, the 2022 East to West Alta 2810 KIK. My name is Hunter. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. See ya.